Hello and welcome to my human design channel. Um, we're looking at the profile 2.4 at the moment and uh, I do love the profiles. I got into human design 25 years ago when uh, Ra Uruhu began teaching about auras in England and it opened me up. I thought, wow, this is the costume we wear, you know, you can really get a strong identification to who you are through understanding the profiles. So here in this course, I'm going to be looking at the uh, the two four aura secrets. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, this costume that we wear, it's composed of two primary parts. In the two four, we're looking at the second line as the what you identify with. And well, a second line is either open or closed. It is self motivated. It is childlike. I mean, there's always something youthful about the um, the second line. I mean, they will be pottering around in their own home, open to doing something or being involved with something. And then the interest goes and they go on to the next thing. It is as natural as as drinking to them. It is the way they operate, the open and then the closeness. If you watch children, you'll see the same thing. You know, they'll be they'll be playing with their toys and then no interest whatsoever. They wander off and they do something else. This is very natural. And talking of natural, it's also very natural for others to see into the second line what they are doing and how amazing it can be because they are naturals and the second line is gifted and they will be portraying their gifts without being aware that there's anything special about it. And this is the amazing thing to me, because they can be very good at so many things and they don't even know it. I mean, it's amazing. So and they don't want to be told about it either. They don't want you to go, well, you know, you should do this. You should do that. This is what they get all the time. And they go, no, 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 I don't want to go on stage. You know, there's this shyness, you know, like, no, get the searchlight out of my face. I'm just playing. And, you know, they, they're afraid that if they go up there and they don't know enough or they're not good enough or they'll be criticized in some way. It's very difficult to have something natural in you with everybody looking at you. And it's like, well, it gets very uncomfortable. However, that is the way they are. And uh, it does, as a personality, get them to want to just say, look, leave me alone. I want to go back into my cave. This is the hermit side of them, where they just want to go back, close the door, pretend that, you know, they're not in when the phone rings and, and really just um, not want to be around people for a while. But then there's the fourth line part of the aura that is the opportunist that wants to go out and externalize what it is that they know to other people. This is the networker side of it. This is a side of them that does need to be with other people and they will go out because you never know who you might meet. <laughs> this is how it works. You never know who you might meet. It could open a door to all kinds of things, you know, to opportunities, to new connections, to, well, just about anything. So there is that side of them. But then after a while, it's like, oh, I've had enough of people. You know, the number of two fours I know who have, you know, wiped out their, their Facebook account only to realize later on that they shouldn't have done that. And they've locked off a lot of opportunities by doing so. But they get fed up after a while. They want to just you know go back to the cave. So why would they get fed up? Here's one of the things to understand about the aura in uh, in the two four. They want to externalize. They do it. Um, in a way that this is what I've heard. This is this is what they take to be the fixed truth of whatever the situation is. And if you don't align to that, they don't want to tell you. They don't want to put you off as a friend. And at the same time, they don't want to be challenged because after all, they are fixed in that. They're designed to be fixed with that. So they will, again, close off if you're not taking what they're saying uh, with uh, sincere uh, interest. I want you to think about um, what it's like to be a um, 
a natural that is self-motivated and yet unaware. I want you to imagine what that is when they think about themselves, or if you're a 2-4, when you think about yourself in the movement of your life, in the trajectory of your life, because you may not have taken anything particularly um, importantly in your life that you're good at. You know, you might not know the number of second lines that I see, especially two fours, that really don't know what they're good at. And yet everyone's been telling them for some time. It's a matter of being able to move in life without resistance. Uh, for example, um, I've done a, a detailed 2-4 uh, profile uh, video uh, on my site, um, which contains all the different ingredients of what it is to be a 2-4, all the details are there. And the example that I give is, um, is uh, uh, Deva Pramal, um, a natural uh, singer. Now, she was taught how to sing by her father when she was young. And when you're young, you've got a um, a brain that keeps opening up, opening up, opening up, it kind of, like a sponge, it will take in information. And so she took in all this, uh, this information about music and sacred music. And this is what she does, you know, she started singing and she was recognized because of her beautiful voice. And that has become her whole life. And she's been really successful with it. She didn't have to learn it. It was natural. It was part of her. And she's moved on that trajectory very successfully. So it's about really waiting for the right call where you recognize that someone is seeing something in you that is really something that you love to do. And you love to do it a lot. In fact, you would do it even without being paid. It's beginning to see that the outside looking in is something that can open you up to a life that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And so feedback is important and, and having friends and having the network and, you know, gossiping with them and hearing this and hearing that. And, you know, they love all that. <laughs> they love all that. What's going on with the friends? What's going on with the network? And of course, they're here to be influential. So they do know what's going on. Um, they really do. They really do hear through the network what is going on. And in that sense, they can be very useful and uh, great friends for everyone, actually, um, because they will give you a perspective that you may not have thought of. The other thing about the, the two four that you have to understand at a uh, interaction level and at a romantic level, it is a self-motivated aspect, which I've said, which means it's got to open in its own way. And when people are too pushy with a 2-4, they will close off. Uh, in a romantic situation, you have to wait for them to open to you, to be there, to, to be their friend, to wait until it will shift. But it comes from them. They will open to the other rather than the other trying to push their way onto the 2-4. Uh, that is not going to work. That's going to be uncomfortable. Think about what it's like to be childlike, you know, and you, you don't want a lot of, you're all, we're always being told what to do and, and all the rest of it. And so a child doesn't, you know, doesn't really want all that. But them opening up to wanting to know more, that's the thing. So you have to, you have to wait and they have to also wait until it naturally comes out of them. Um, it's a wonderful profile. Um, and it's kind of blessed in a way. I, I always see a, a spiritual line that can that can run through the two four um, they are in touch with the mysteries at a sacred level and uh, you'll you'll see that you'll see there were things that they will do that are just natural that maybe they haven't been taught but they just know so i find them wonderful and that youthful side and that that freshness of like well is it a game are we gonna are we gonna play here you know so many of the other profiles take life so damn seriously and the two four is up for a game is up for the play is up for the enjoyment of something to be able to share that with others to be able to have a good time in that sense um so they're very handy they're wonderful it's a wonderful profile and uh, i hope that's helped you to understand a little bit more about it uh, if, it ha if you have, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and like and share. 
and do check out in the descriptions uh, the 2-4 profile video because it's not very much and it's got a lot of detailed condensed information uh, if you want to have the full range of what it is. Okay, enjoy. Bye for now.